I absolutely think my rise and me starting to work more towards success uh, was an issue too because he was big bro, he is starting the game first, and and then you know I started to work more. Um, in the Fat Tuesday documentary, you did highlight the rivalry between your brother, yes, and yourself. I kind of want to just. Um, you said currently you guys aren't seeing eye to eye. Yeah, I mean, J J my brothers and I relationship uh, is up and down. It's uh, depends on the day, depends on the week, depends on the month, depends on the event. Mm -hmm. uh, and at any given day, we can fall out. And because I'm a person that have an issue with holding grudges, um, I'm a little bit more stubborn mm. on coming back around, but I think that's being stubborn is my wall on not allowing it to happen mm. uh, a 900th time. <laughs> so my, my, my wall is, you know, hold this grudge so I, can, so I can keep the distance. Are you in a fight for respect when it comes to your brother? You don't think he respects you? I'm never in a fight for respect. I, I, I'm not worried about respect. You know, in terms of the business, I'm not worried about that. Right. In terms of as a man, and you're gonna respect me as a man. I still deal with childhood. Did you notice that kind of early on, like that? No, was... no, I didn't notice the the tension between my brother and I until I moved out. When I first moved to L.A., he was already here. I moved in with him, and then after a while, I started making a little money, and I was like, two grown ass men don't need to live together. I wanted my own, my own, because I lived with Joe and Joe's spot. I wasn't paying rent because he said, you know, as long as you are, are working on your craft, you don't have to pay rent. So I was in the comic club working on my shit. And so I wanted my own place. I wanted to decorate it the way I wanted to decorate right. it. I wanted my own space. Joe always had a bunch of cats over there, a bunch of, you know, but he would have, it would it'd be fun sometimes. He would have Jada Pinkett would be over there and AJ uh, Johnson would be over there or AJ Sanders mm -hmm. or, and, DJ Quick, and they'd be smoking weed and playing dominoes. Virginia King would be over there. And I was upstairs, like, in my room just studying, like, writing jokes. So I used to study. I had a whole VHS collection of talk shows because I'm going to be on a talk show one day. I want to know how to act on a talk show. And I'd study, you know, Will Smith on a talk show and or a bunch of Arsenio Hall shows and Eddie Murphy on talk shows. And I, I learned how to do talk shows by watching and studying. I would study different... Um, Comedians, mm -hmm. you know the old school comedians, but they were down there playing, uh, you know, dominoes and spades and drinking and smoking. And it was a fun time. It wasn't anything like crack houses and shit like that. But it was that was me. I was mm -hmm. always like kind of the, you know, the one who uh, I believe in prep and 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 show prep is is everything. Now you would grow up in Missouri, yeah, and make that transition to Los Angeles, and that was due to like seeing your brother go ahead and take off. Watching your brothers rise, um, in the in the nineties, I believe he was really like becoming known. Like, how did that like? How did you take that in? Man, I was I was in college when he when he first uh, was on TV. I think he was on Showtime at the Apollo, and I was trying to get you know, I was trying to get some girls off of that. Yeah, my brother's on TV, mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of my dorm room. Uh, <laughs> but I was trying to get some shine off of that. And then when he went on to do, it's funny because when he went on to do. Like television, when I think my brother's first uh, TV credit as an actor was on the sitcom Amen, mm -hmm. you know, and even when he did that, he was great. But I was sitting back like I would have read the line this way. <laughs> I wasn't even in the business yet, and I would have I would have said it this way. So mm -hmm. again, you know, falling into the footsteps of my older siblings and doing the same thing they did, and and the comparison. But I think that, like I said, the split happened. I think when I moved out on my own and kind of got my own place, and it was like, and maybe in his mind, oh, he doesn't need me anymore, or I can't control him anymore. Right. Because when you're living under somebody's roof, and you're not paying rent, you can shut the up, and you can't say nothing, you have no say so. Right. So it was like, you know, the con I think it was a control thing. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty deep, because even I think about like, um, and this is kind of another sub sub subject, if you will, kind of like independent women having trouble in the dating experience because some dudes may not know how to approach them. Right. 
you become independent, it's less control. It's more of a, I guess, a fair exchange, if you will. So do you think that was kind of the dynamic there where you became this independent man and your brother just, he doesn't know how to really exist in your world? I think it was, I think it was confusion of being big bro and being a protector, mm -hmm. you know, because that was definitely prevalent and, and, and great. It definitely, we, you know, but then at the same time, seeing me grow up, basically, and become my own person. And you, I think that's... You, mm, go ahead, I'm sorry. I mean, and I think that's... That was maybe confusing for him. He would never admit it, because narcissists don't. Um, but that, that was, I think it was confusing for him. And he's used to, you know, figuring it out. And I think that may have been tough for him. Because the protection and the love was definitely there. But at the yeah. same time, it's like, you know, damn, he's, you know, he got to let go. Here's a, you know, just a straight, direct question. Do you think your success became a reason why he maybe could have been intimidated or felt some type of way about it? I absolutely think my rise and me starting to work more towards success uh, was an issue too because he was big bro, he is starting the game first, and, and then, you know, I started to work more. And I think it, that made it even tougher to see, like being proud, but at the same time, like, Oh snap, you know, uh, he looks like me, he sounds like me, mm. you know, maybe if he wasn't here, I would have had that role in his mind thinking, but you know, God didn't put him in that role. <laughs> he has to realize that God put us where we are, wherever we are. Right. And I never looked at it as competition in terms of uh -huh, competition, but you know, I was rooted, you know, for my brother. And it'd be weird, it was weird when I started working a little bit more. It was uncomfortable for me. Mm. Because I wanted to see him, I would almost be ashamed to say that I booked this role, or booked that role. And, and or sometimes I, if I had an audition and I thought it was better for him, the role was suited. I'd call, hey man, tell your agent about this role, man. I think, you know, you should get in. And it's the same role. And, I, and, and there were times we'd go in on the same auditions, and I was hoping he booked it over me. Just to keep the, you know, the, the, so it wouldn't be any animosity, any friction. And uh, it happened recently. Uh, we, a couple of months ago, we was up for the same, neither one of us got it. Actually, it happened a few times. And sometimes it's confusing because Joe has the, arrogance or the cockiness or the confidence, whatever you want to call it, to do it, but my prep may be a little bit better because mm -hmm. I don't have, I have the insecurities. Mm -hmm. So I prep more, you know, to be ready. Mm -hmm. And Joe's, he preps, but it's more like I'm Joe Torrey. Well, I'm like, I got to be ready. So that's the difference in, in, uh, in us, but I think I think with my career starting to um, ascend a little bit, may made that 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 friction even more. I was even thinking about just like even that response in itself let me know that you love your brother. Oh, absolutely. Do you think he? Knows I don't like that? him, but I love him. Do you think your brother knows that you love him? Of course he does. I keep fucking with him. <laughs> if I did, I wouldn't keep you know mess with him. But but. You know, we're just, and it's also two alpha males. You know, we're, 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 we're two alpha males, and he's big bruh, and usually big older siblings don't let you forget that they're the older siblings, but I have two other older siblings that, you know, I have four older siblings, right? Two will let you, will remind you that they are the older sibling, mm -hmm. right? The other two are just cool, we're just siblings. There's no, no, no. Thing. But being, you know, Joe and I being two alpha males and, and him being the older brother, I will, you know, I will play my position. I'll, I'll you know, until, in, unless it gets to a point that's disrespectful, mm -hmm. then it's like, nah. But I will step, I will, you know, fall back, mm -hmm. you know, in those situations. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, you ain't about to punk me. You ain't about to, you know, like saying, taking, you know, something out of his mouth that he said, like, you ain't about to punk me, you ain't about to punk me either. 
So it's it's a uh, it's a weird dynamic, and you know I've I've prayed on it for years, and uh, my mom has prayed on it for years too. So when when God is ready for us to to uh, to be not on again off again, then then uh, then He'll be ready because I've done everything I can do. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs>